I was not very good at leak code when I first started. You guys want to see my submission history? I want it to be known. I was not particularly good at leak code when I started. Take a look at my first two sum. So I've solved this problem so many times. Looks like I started back in 2018. So this was my first solution. I had the nested for loop solution and it had a runtime error. It wasn't even time limit exceeded. I was doing C++ as you can see. Okay, so I got the nested for loop solution and then trying to do the hash map solution. Look how many wrong submissions I got before I got the hash map solution. One, two, three, 12, 13, 14. And maybe I just gave up and copy and pasted somebody's solution. So I was not very good at all when I first started. So 2 p.m. I started and that day, my last submission was at 3.40. I sat at this one problem for over an hour and a half. At least I understood it by the end of that, hopefully. That was day one of leak coding for me. I wonder what other problems I solved. Valid parentheses. So I didn't know the trick that you can put these in a hash map. So I had some extra if statements, but I did, it looks like I did probably code this myself given that the code is not very good. And then I switched to Python like a year later and I learned the tricks and I got it wrong, of course. Check leak code two, that one was a pain. By the way, I was thinking that two sum problem, I must've started it before the first submission. So I was probably there for like over two hours on that problem. It looks like I actually knew the solution or I must have looked at the solution. I kind of knew what I was doing, but I got it wrong. Those were my C++ days. What was the first hard problem you solved? Merge case sorted lists probably. Oh yeah, it really was. That was during the C++ days. This is not what I expected, to be honest. I thought I did a lot more. Reverse a linked list. That was one I must have messed up so many times. I must be thinking of another problem because I one tapped this one. Where was the daily challenge yesterday? I don't know if I should make a community post when it's an old problem, but I actually solved that one over a year ago. Even though I've been sick, I've been making those daily leak code videos. And do you want to know why? Because I I've made 500 leak code videos. They're so damn easy to make for me now. You know what I do? Cause I'm addicted to leak code. I open up paint. I open up my screenshot tool, screenshot. There we go. Copy paste into here, zoom it, do this, do that. Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's write some more neat code today. Blah, 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 blah. This is how you solve it. Blah, blah, blah. Write the code because I've solved 500 leak code problems. Sometimes I submit it. Sometimes I submit it a couple times because the runtime on leak code varies a lot. So if you ever see multiple submissions on the left, sometimes I just submit it multiple times to get a good runtime. So then I can say, and it's pretty efficient, cut the video and I'm done. That's it. Doesn't take me very long to make leak code videos, to be honest. And I like doing them. I feel like I did something valuable when I make a leak code video. How much money do you make on each video? Not as much as you think. Infinite money glitch. I don't know about that. If you're good enough to solve these leak code problems, you're probably good enough to get a high paying job. Like that's my competitive advantage. Why would somebody who's good at leak code want to compete with me when they can just be making 500K working in big tech anyway?